What is up everyone? And welcome to the 51st episode of TPL Response Season 7. Today is August 12, 2024. Oh wow! There is four more days left until the new Marvel season of Fortnite Chapter 5 starts. Hip hip hooray! I am very excited to see the new map once the servers come back up after the version 31.00 update finishes updating. And also, Three more episodes left until I reach to my season 7 finale. Wow, this is getting super close. And also, there is now four days left until my mom and my nanny both go out to the Disney cruise in Southampton, England. Oh and also, I just want to let you all know that tomorrow is going to my cat Patch's birthday. And she's going to be turning 14 years old tomorrow. Well anyways, for today's response episode, I'm going to be taking a look at another stupid rant video about me. Created by EM2K8 The Logo Editor. And since Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 4, the Marvel themed season is coming in 4 days, I have decided to portray as another female Marvel character. And this time, I am portraying as Black Widow, aka, Natasha Romanoff. Because I have saw a brand new teaser image showing us the new updated Doctor Doom's mask. Oh and speaking of that, the name of Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 4 is going to be called, Absolute Doom. And Doctor Doom is a 100% real example of the name of the upcoming season. And I have also saw two new Kai Arts for the new season. And both of these looked so good. And I even now already have a favorite skin in the upcoming season. And that is, Shuri, the female Black Panther that was played by Leticia Wright. And I just wished her a congratulates to getting her Marvel character in the game. And also, I also want to say congratulations to January Jones for getting her Marvel character, Emma Frost, to the game next season. And also congratulations to Jake Gyllenhaal for getting his Marvel character, Mysterio, to the game next season. And finally, Congratulations to Don Cheadle for getting his Marvel character, War Machine, to the game next season. And those actors and actresses Marvel characters are going to be in the Battle Pass. So now, without the delay, let us now begin this response. Off we go. Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Ethan Marie Rants. This time, it will be on the Panther Lover, Miles Morales, Lady Gaga and Fortnite champion series fan. And before I start this rant, to users who still likes this user, I'm fine with your opinion, and I'll handle and tolerate yours back. Anyways, enjoy the Panther Lover, Miles Morales, Lady Gaga, and Fortnite champion series fan has got to be one of the worst users I have ever seen in my entire life. I am going to give you all the reasons on why this user sucks. One. His commentaries are terrible. <laughs> Ethan, that is not a reason on why you hate me. That is an opinion. Use reasons instead of opinions in your next reasons next time. 2. He can't handle hate, criticism, and the truth about Foxy the Fox 110. You're a liar and a coward! Yeah, you heard what that woman said. You are a real liar. Because... I can actually handle hate and criticism. And plus, that is because that they are not speaking the truth about Foxy. Owning up lies about her, and even slandering her too. 3. His content is freaking horrible. <laughs> Bro, stop using opinions instead of reasons in your rant videos already. And also, I heard that you are copying some of the opinions and reasons from JG. Even though I hate JG. 4. He's a biggest hypocrite and a liar in the planet. For example, he claims that commentaries, reacts, and responses are different, when in reality, they are the same thing. F this guy is fucking stupid! 6. He treats me, 
Leah the Bandery Fan 2K8, Frankie Kun the Disney Hater 2001, Jarrett the Film Guy, Edward the Friday Night Funkin' and Memes Guy 5K9, Brady the BFDI Fan, Jacob the Rosie Rules and Powerpuff Girls Fan, AK2, and other users, like they are worse than Hitler. Eight and finally, he puts scary logos on his commentaries just to scare other users who do commentaries on him. This proves that he can't handle hate. Bullshit. Besides, if the user sees some of his videos that has some scary logos who do commentaries on him, they will get scared and have nightmares and they can't go to sleep. Well, it would be much better if they would watch it at daytime. And that's what I hate this user. Anyways, who likes this user? Foxy the Fox 110. She's being friends with this user, but sh Hey you, stop right there. This is Stephen Curry speaking to you. Are you about to bash people's opinions on a user you hate? Bro, you should know damn well that people can trust their liked users if they want to. Because it is their choices, not yours. Let's skip this part and continue with the response. Hates this user. Sunny JG. Thomas the Foxy the Fox 110 Hater, Edward the Friday Night Funkin' and Memes Guy 5K9, Jarrett the Film Guy, Leah the Bandery Fan 2K8, Jacob the Rosie's Rules and Powerpuff Girls Fan, Brady the BFDI Fan, Frankie Kun the Disney Hater 2001, AK2, and others. So screw the Panther Lover, Miles Morales, Lady Gaga, and Fortnite champion series fan. And screw Donovan Lewis. And stop using the screw X and screw Y term. That term is mainly known for being an off-topic term. And what does Donovan Lewis have to do with this rant? You're being off-topic. The SpongeBob SquarePants movie is over one million times better than the Panther Lover, Miles Morales, Lady Gaga, and Fortnite champion series fan. End of rant. And stop using the Z as random of numbers time better than X term. That term is also known for being an off topic term. And what does the SpongeBob SquarePants movie have to do with this rant? Keep in mind that I like that movie. But in other words, you're being off topic. And that was the end of the video. And wow, this rant of his sucked. Because he had two opinions instead of two reasons in this rant video. So Ethan Marie, if you're watching this, I suggest that you do not use opinions in your rant reasons anymore, because opinions are not reasons to hate someone. Oh, and Alfie Law, if you're also watching this, since you unfortunately came back from your hiatus, don't you dare do the same thing what you always do every time I portray as a female person or character. So anyways, this is the end of this response episode. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this response episode, then, you know what to do. Alright, I shall see you all next time in my next response episode, starting tomorrow. Farewell.